do want to quickly get on. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Um, a little uh, less square? Um, no, no. no. Can you take a few tortoises? Katie! You want to So, this is the torty kit, except we can't find black is black. So, I'm just using a different black. We can't find it for some reason, but black is black is what's in your kit. Okay. First step torty. 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 Just one coat of this, and then I'm going to cure it. Because this has that nice, like, orangey glassy look oh my god it's gonna look so good on top of this drink it. yeah let's it's just like drink tea. it <gasps> get in so i just did one coat of that but we keep it out because that's also going to be our last step so this also comes in your kit the little smoosh brush and the first I was thing about that. I keep to my clients it's literally so smooth they freak out yeah they're like what oh my yeah. god, smoosh brush. but i want to like wake my brush up this has been without a lid so it could be a little stiff, but the way I kind of like wake my brushes up is just get more gel in them. Swipe it. I usually use the, the lid of the pot and it loosened it up nicely. And then I'll take a little lint free wipe and it's ready to go. So you kind of go with the tortoiseshell kit. The easiest thing to remember is lightest to darkest color. So first up, we did this one, the like sheer glassy orange. And then we're gonna take a scoop of the sheer brown. And I usually like to do it, I do it the same every time just so it's not, it really is consistent. So I do like a little, almost like triangle, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's how I'm gonna sort of blob them on and make sure that it's even. So now that I have that, I'm just gonna take it, take the little smoosh brush and I kind of connect it. You really can't think too hard. Like truly, like the more you think and the more circular it is, the like weirder it's gonna look. You know, like you can, yeah, it'll just look too perfect and like that's not what it's supposed to be. And I like this kind of sheer brown because it'll be darker in some areas, sheer, more sheer in the other ones. You can like blend it out farther, but I personally always like to make sure that there's enough of that orange in the background still after all of my layers. I still want that brown, that orange underneath to show through. Yep, it's cured. And then whatever, just put that in. Next up, Midnight Chocolate. And that is just like true brown. True dark, dark brown to darkest. Now I'm gonna take this and you don't need as much because it's pretty pigmented. And all I'm gonna do is almost like overlap but again, I'm still trying to make sure that some of the orange pops through. Every layer you want to be able to pop through. So I'm just gonna go, and I personally like to start doing the darker blobs towards the cuticle area. Yeah, see, like, cause it almost creates like a little vin vignette, 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 vignette whatever. Yeah. So it's like kind of darkest and then it like builds a little bit more depth. Uh -huh. So I kind of like to go up at the cuticle area. You like, like that nice cuticle see, area. I'm like, you see that? Yeah. You see that? This uh, yeah. nice smooth cuticle area that was made for me. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, see, just like little blobs. I'm kind of overlapping with this like lighter brown. I can go around a little bit more, smear out the edges a little bit. I'm excited Again, about this brush. I'm not. It's, that it's is amazing. A good brush. I know. Yeah. And then fill in some of the gaps. Nothing crazy. I'm probably gonna do, I probably usually do like three to four blobbies of the dark brown. And it's easy to get a little messy with this. So just make sure when you're like kind of going around the edges, maybe smooth it out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this edge is like really smooth so yeah even like I'm like bringing a little bit more in it doesn't matter it doesn't matter and then maybe on like the tip of the nail as well yeah because so again like probably three to four little blobby spots mm -hmm. and then this is a little blank area so I'm gonna bring this in again just look at the balance of the nail obviously we have a, like, a long nail that we're dealing with that's like beautifully sculpted so yeah you know what I mean so look see it's just like just random little like blobbies and sometimes I do like a little like dotty 
I think that's kind of cute. I was gonna say, and it I like the more, dot. It adds a little bit because it's like it just I just like it. It's like a little beauty mark, mm -hmm. and I'll do it with the black too. Have you done it? Like, look how cute. That's so cute, right? And we're not even done. And yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, I was like, that'd be really good for mm -hmm. like a fall. And it's one yeah. of those designs. Yeah, yeah, of course. course. Yes. So, like, okay, now I'm just gonna take the black. So now I'm gonna overlap a little bit of this. And again, I'm still making sure every layer that we did is shining through. And I'm gonna probably continue a little bit of my vignette. Exactly. I don't want to cover everything. <laughs> Oh, that's like, how I was. I was yeah. just like, Scoop that was just up to my together. super smooth cuticle. Mm -hmm. Overlap a little bit. Mm -hmm. Bring it down. I love the vignette. Like, I can see it coming together. You see what I'm saying? I love the yeah. three. I think that's the key. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I just did that kind of randomly. And I never changed it after that. Like I was like, oh, I, I actually really like a round. And it helps make it look a little cleaner too, yeah. you know? Because you have That's the darker true. colors forming the border instead of just kind of yeah. loosey goosey. Yeah, so amazing already. I know, look at it. Uh, so I'm probably gonna do, again, like two, between like three to four blobbies of the black. Just going around, nothing circular. The more circular it looks, the weirder it looks. You don't want that because look at that see like when you look so it's cute. like glasses oh, it's like when you yeah. have like commercial glasses oh, i love that blobby mm -hmm. i'm gonna get a little corner action there why not this. maybe fill in something right there just I, again i'm working with like a long nail so it's nice but you probably don't need this many blobs for like shorter nails and then I'm gonna add maybe a little, another beauty mark somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. The artistry. You do it just like Katie. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna do this when I go home and do it. Yeah, sure. Never, ever, ever take that line. She's gonna and then, the secret. The, the biggest secret step. It's not secret, but you put oh, another yes. coat of this on top. Yes. Yes. Because it makes the orange pop more because we left it. We left some pieces out of the orange and it makes it look so much more glassy. It tints everything a slightly glassy orange. See, like right now, yeah, it's cute. I like it, but I still want a little bit like more orange vibe sticking out. So I'm gonna do one more coat and it encases it and makes it look really glassy. Yeah. Yep, exactly. <laughs> How, uh, that is like such a beautiful, sleek nail. Like, mm -hmm. This nail so is pretty. Changer. I know. Yeah. <laughs>